Good day everyone, this is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. Today we're taking a look at an app that's on my iPad that's called Top Camera. There's also a version available for your iPhone and you're going to find that it's going to improve the flexibility and the ability to adjust settings that you just don't get with your built-in cameras on your iDevices. Right off the bat, I'm going to welcome you into my home. And as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, one of the things that you can do is you can zoom. It'll go up to five times zoom. And if you notice in the upper left hand corner, you have a little dot and it will allow you to adjust the brightness and contrast and the temperature of the, uh, the picture. So we can make it a little brighter in here if we'd like. There are all sorts of settings that we can use. Right now we happen to be in the still camera mode and in regular single shot you can also put in an HDR mode. If you're going to do that I suggest that you use the stabilizer that's built in because what it's going to do is going to take three pictures of your subject and then it's going to combine those three into one picture that most emulates what your eye will see naturally. It also has a timer so that if you'd like to get into the picture you can do that. It also has quick bursts so if you want to take rapid succession pictures of an outdoor event, a race or anything that happens quickly you can very easily do that also. You can change over to video just as easy as that. Again you see in the right hand side it does have the slider and it will zoom up to 5x. If you come over here, the little settings, we have all sorts of settings that you can do. Obviously, in a short video, we are not going to cover them all. And I'm just going to point out that you do have a timer of five, uh, excuse me, two, five, ten, or twenty seconds so that you can get into the shot if you'd like. It also has sound activated shutter so that you can uh, make that. A little bit easier to do. Come back out and we go into the camera roll. It does have the ability, right now we're in main folder, but by tapping on the add in the upper right hand corner you can very easily add as many folders as you'd like. We're just going to quickly look at a picture that we took earlier. As you can see you have um, multiple options when you tap on any picture that you have in your roll and you can delete it. You can email it as simple as this. You can of course view it. When you're in view it's as easy as that to then you can edit it if you'd like. When you edit it you can crop you can keep the ratio, you can go to squares, you can go to predetermined sizes, whatever you'd like. You can do it as, uh, in free, um, so there is no ratio if you prefer. You can rotate left, right, you can flip both ways. You can free adjust for brightness, contrast, saturation, improve, temperature, tint, shadows, and highlights. There are effects. We have basic effects, colorify, blend, retro, cross process, noise reduction, and sketch. You can add borders, which are basically frames. You can do them in basic or vignette. Don't want to do anything? Go back and nothing is saved. You can move it to a folder whether um, when you have those set up. You can also export. You can save in photos, copy to a clipboard and use it in any other application that allows you to paste. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, Picasa, or you can upload it to your Dropbox. So there you have it in a nutshell. 
There's lots more to it. But join us on the website where we'll show you the full review of Top Camera. I'll join you on that website where I'll sync with you soon.